and if anyone's name was not found in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation 2015. What if hell isn't an idea or concept or myth? What if hell is a place? A place where people go. A place where people are. A place where people exist, forever. What if movie writers have never actually been to hell, so their idea, that hell is one big eternal party, is wrong? What if that's all just wishful thinking? What if we don't see our friends or loved ones in hell? What if there is no company for our misery? What if hell is the total absence of anything good? What if hell is nothing but evil? What if hell is all the evil things in this life without any of the good things? What if hell is full of the worst things that have ever happened to us in this life, and they just keep happening to us forever? What if we never get over them? What if they never stop? What if, after we die, we are not alive, but we are still aware? What if we can see and hear and feel? What if our worst phobias and fears happen all the time, and never end? What if there are no timeouts or reprieves? What if there is no end to look forward to? What if we can't even kill ourselves to get away from these things that torment us? What if not thinking about these things doesn't make them any less real? What if ignoring them doesn't make them go away? What if we are just fooling ourselves, like a chain smoker thinking he's not shortening his life? What if there really is justice in the universe? What if all the things we've done wrong in our lives, have to be punished? What if we don't get to make the rules about what's wrong and what's right? What's fair and unfair? What if God makes those rules? What if we can't earn our way to heaven? What if Jesus did take our punishment for us? What if we really do have to believe, in order to accept that payment, that Jesus made for us? What if we are, not just saved automatically, so that we can go on living a sinful life? What if we say we believe, but our behavior doesn't change? What if we are just saying things, in order to fool ourselves into thinking, that we can still live sinfully, but say some words, and avoid going to hell? What if we can fool ourselves, but we can't fool God? Not everyone who says to me Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father, who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name cast our demons, and in your name perform many miracles? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you, depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Matthew 7, 21-23 What if we don't believe at all? What if we don't even want to hear about God, because we want to keep living the way we want to live? What if our arrogance only lasts, as long as a life? What if the things, that happen to us in the next life, are not determined by what we want, but by what God says? What if hell is real? What if our friends, our loved ones, people we know, what if they are there right now? What if they are in pain? What if they are suffering? What if it's never going to end? What if God gave us our whole lives, to avoid the same fate? What if we spent, that life making excuses for our sins, rather than obeying God? What if we didn't even try to find out the truth about God, because we didn't want it to interfere with our fun? What if there are no second chances after we die? What if that's it? Time's up. No matter what we've told ourselves. No matter what we'd like to think. No matter how comfortable we are with our sins. No matter how much we try to fool ourselves into thinking, that there are no consequences for our actions. What if there are consequences? What if we only realize, that after we've taken our last breath, what if that last breath happens today? What will we see next? Hear next? Feel next? What if hell really does last forever? What if hell is real? For if we go on sinning willfully, after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a certain, terrifying expectation of judgment, and the fury of fire, which will consume the adversaries. It is a terrifying thing, to fall into the hands of the living God. Hebrews 10, 26-27 and 31.